Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today, with the first Sunday of Advent, we begin a new church year. A different set of scripture readings start today and the Gospel of Matthew will be our guide in the majority of the Sunday's reflections as we begin this new year of the church. Advent is an excellent time to open our hearts and invite the Lord to come more fully into our hearts. Also, these days of Advent should be for us like what we can see in the faces of the people at the airports, waiting for loved ones to arrive from a flight. They look excited, eager for the first sight of a familiar face, ready to greet them. Do we await the Lord's coming with equal eagerness because we long for His presence? My dear brothers and sisters, Advent is meant to be an active waiting with a spirit of excitement for the coming of our Lord because He wants us to grow in our relationship with Him and with others, to give time to prayer, and to live with His message in our hearts. That's what our Advent should be like. And while we await, we can enjoy His promised gifts without fear. Now, to be actively waiting also means to have our eyes wide open, to keep vigilant in order to see beyond our own small interests and concerns. In our communities, we need to ensure that our hope and our faith doesn't lead us to indifference or to forgetting the poor and the needy. Jesus said in today's gospel, stay awake. Be prepared for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. And if we don't grow in our faith, and if we don't pray, and if we don't care about others, what can we expect from the one who having everything didn't hold anything for him, but rather gave us everything and his son for our sake and our salvation? Then, let us pray to the Lord to guide our steps toward Him and help us to always to do good as we wait with the same eagerness for His coming again. Amen. <laughs>